freshman here at UND studying psychology, pre-occupational therapy. Today we're going to be going all around campus, learning some of the important things that UND has to offer. Here at UND we offer over 80 different majors, and I'm sure you all are from a variety of different majors, so we will make sure to touch on all of those today. In this building is Esh Hall. Um, we have our School of Business in here, which offers our finance lab for business students who are um, in lectures. Um, on their second floor, we also have our School of Education, which also has our education makerspace on the lower level. Um, and here we also do have our departments of theater and communication as well. Another important thing for you to know is that we have several different offices for you as a resource while you're here on campus. Some of these include the Office of Admissions, the Registrar, the Financial Aid, as well as the Study Abroad Office. Here we are outside of Good Hall. Good Hall is our oldest building on campus and was built in 1902 when our university was first founded. Here we still do have a lot of our um, classes and a lot of different departments. The six pillars in Good Hall um, represent some of our core values that are still instilled today. Some of these include service, leadership, inquiry, and innovation. Here in Good Hall, we have our Shaheen College of Arts and Sciences, which includes majors in the fine arts, humanities, and sciences. Although the departments are in this building, they also are across campus in different buildings as well. Let's go take a walk through campus. Let's take a look at some of the other housing options on campus. Here to our right, we have Cravens Hall. Cravens Hall is one of three freshman dorm options. Also on this side of campus, we have Warren Hall, which is another freshman dorm. Behind me here is Roberts Hall. Roberts is one of four upperclassmen dorms here on campus. Here we are in Roberts Hall. This is the lobby area. Also here in the lobby area, we do have gym facilities for residents of Roberts to use as well. Now let's go see a room. Come on in. So this is what a typical dorm room is going to look like for an upperclassmen dorm. Um, some amenities in Roberts include a heating and AC unit that you and your roommates get to control the temperature. You also do have a cable hookup, as well as you have access to all Xfinity streaming services. This is the Health Pavilion. A lot of our healthcare majors meet in here for classes. Let's go take a look. Inside our Health Pavilion on this first floor, we have a couple of our dining options. Let's go take a look. This is Greyhound Garden. It is run by Sushi Boss and has fresh custom sushi made for our students. Over here is our perk here on campus. Our perks are our coffee shops on campus. Two of our perks sell Starbucks coffee. The other one sells a different type of coffee. The perk also sells different packaged goods such as sandwiches, salads, and things like that, as well as your hot and cold drinks that you would regularly get at a coffee shop. Also here in the Health Pavilion, we have two different resources for students to use while here on campus. The first is our Health and Wellness Clinic, which is run by three nurse practitioners if you're ever sick or feeling down. The second is our Counseling Center, which has licensed therapists to help with any emotional support you may need while on campus. This is what a normal classroom is going to look like here at UND. We have an excellent student to faculty ratio here. Our faculty are really involved and they really want to help students succeed here at UND. We're up here on the fourth floor of the Health Pavilion. Behind me you will see Key Stadium, which is our football field on campus where our football team practices and plays. We have a variety of other sports that practice and play on there as well, including our lacrosse and soccer teams. Just behind Key Stadium, the big gray bubble you'll see is called our ARC, or our Athletic Recreation Center, um, which has a full-size track in there, an Olympic-sized weight room, as well as batting cages and golf rooms as well. Up here you can also see downtown. We are just 10 minutes away from downtown. Um, if you ever need transportation to get from campus to downtown, we are a part of the Red Line transportation system, which can help you get from there to do a lot of fun activities downtown. Out the window you can also see Nickerson Hall, so let's go take a look at that. Are you a sports fan? You're not gonna wanna miss this. This is Nickerson Hall. You will begin and end your student experience here, starting with welcome week activities and ending with commencement. 
You will see our basketball court behind here. We are D2 all around, and our men's and women's basketball teams practice and play in here. Along with this, we have guest speakers who oftentimes come and speak in here, as well as, like I mentioned, the welcome week and commencement activities. <laughs> Welcome to the heart of campus. We're now inside Schwitzer Student Center. Here is Ace, our mascot here on campus, who is a greyhound. This fall, we also got our first live mascot. His name is Grady and he's a greyhound, so if you ever see him running around on campus, make sure you get a picture. Behind me here is our main dining hall here on campus. Our dining hall is buffet style, so it's all you can eat. Um, we have three different stations. The first is going to be mainly pastas, pizzas, and different kinds of home-cooked meals. The second one is going to be more of your tacos or Asian style um, foods. And the last station is the one that varies from time to time. On Fridays, we have Wing Fridays here on campus, which is the best, so make sure you get here early for that. Over here we have Streets, which is another one of our dining options here on campus. You have three different options to choose from at Streets. The first is Ace's Place, which is going to be sub sandwiches and salads. The second is Fiesta Grill, which is going to be more of your quesadillas, tacos style. And the last is going to be Streets Grill, which has a lot of comfort foods such as hamburgers, chicken tenders, and fries. This is the UND Bookstore. Here you can get all of your awesome UND gear, as well as you can get your textbooks or any other supplies you would need for your classes. Also down this way, we have our Hound Express, which has all of your to-go needs. If you ever need any packaged salads or sandwiches or any snacks to grab quickly on the go, Hound Express is for you. Here we are on the second floor of Schwitzer. Behind me is the Office of Student Affairs. They are in charge of a lot of our different intramurals here on campus, as well as our registered student organizations, which help you get involved here at campus. This here is our Center for Service Learning and Community Engagement. They help bring service into the curriculum. Our motto here at UND is Education for Service, so this office really allows our students to get involved here at campus. Across the way is our Professional Edge Center, which has career coaches that really help you to get career ready here on campus. We also host mock interviews in there to help students get ready for different job opportunities that they're applying to, as well as we have a job closet to help students have business attire for different interviews. Around the corner here, we do have two different offices that are pretty important here on campus. The first is CASA, or our Center for Advising and Student Achievement. Here you will have an academic advisor specific to your major to help you in all your registration needs as well as your classes that you are taking while you're here on campus. The second office is our Academic Success Center. They offer free peer tutoring for students who are struggling in a certain class. They also offer SOS workshops which are secrets of success workshops that help students with different study habits while here on campus. Also here you will see over 80 different flags of different countries that are represented in our UND community. Each of these represents either a student, a faculty member, or a staff member who is from this country. Diversity is integral to the student experience here at UND. Hey, out here is Smith Mall. Smith Mall is a great place to hang out with friends, study. Sometimes classes are even held out here when it's nice outside, so it is an awesome place to be with your friends. Along with this, traditions are really important at UND. Some of these include midnight breakfast, where we all gather before finals to have a nice breakfast, and Thanksgiving dinner that is family style with all of your friends in UND community. Surrounding Smith Mall, we do have two other academic buildings. One of them is Lily. Lily is going to hold all of our science classes, things such as biology, chemistry, and anatomy, as well as there's Martin Hall, which has a lot of our math and engineering courses as well. Surrounding these buildings, we do have the rest of our housing options with apartments and dorms. We're now in Cranert Memorial Library, but before we go inside, I want to show you guys one of our newer traditions here at UND. Behind me is the 23, which represents the year that I will graduate in 2023. I sign my name here. Where will you sign yours when you officially become a UND Greyhound? In here is our Cranert Memorial Library where you can study with all of your friends, as well as we also have our third perk in here that sells Starbucks coffee. Our 
Our library is divided by different floors of different types of studying. For example, the first floor is very collaborative and oftentimes students will work with groups or partners. And the third floor is more of an independent, individual style work. Also behind me here in this blue room is our writing lab. The writing lab is a resource that all UND students have in which other students can help to edit and fix different essays or writing assignments that you may have in your classes. third floor of Granite Library. If you're looking for a quiet place to study, the historic egg chairs are for you. They're a great place to study or even take a nap. So that's the end of our tour. I hope you loved UND as much as I do. If you ever have any questions, make sure to visit our website at uind.edu. Otherwise, I hope to see you guys soon here on campus. Go Greyhounds! Yeah.